What's up, Vinyl Community? Cliff Mall here with another video. Uh, this time I'm going to do Vinyl Finds video. Uh, this is all stuff that I found over the last month or so. A lot of good stuff I picked up. Uh, I'm going to do these like once a month or so whenever I find enough cool stuff to show you guys. Uh, right now, uh, in the background, this isn't a find from this month, but this is what we're listening to in the background. This is Havacruno Finish Metal. Finish uh, epic metal stuff, really heavy. A little bit reminds you like a little bit of like at the gates meets like a little more black metally epic metal stuff, but it's really good. Check them out if you haven't. Have a crew. Uh, next up, uh, first find of the month is a CD. Uh, I picked this up actually from Amazon, and it's. The Stalin Mushi. This is a classic Japanese punk album from the 80s. Uh, really good, fast, a little bit of hardcore. It's really good, like the beginnings of Japanese hardcore stuff. But it's really, really cool stuff. Really love this band. Uh, I'm going to search for more of their stuff. Some of their stuff on vinyl is a little harder to find, but I'll, I'll get there someday. <laughs> Next up, I got a couple 7-inches. Uh, we'll start off with uh, this one here. It's a split 7-inch with uh, DS-13, Code 13. A couple classic bands, in my opinion. Uh, DS-13 are a Swedish band. They do like a fast core, fast hardcore style. Not really the typical Swedish style that you hear uh, almost on a lot of Swedish hardcore stuff. Uh, Code 13 was a little more thrashy, uh, crusty, grindy stuff, but uh, really good. Felix Havoc was in Code 13, so he's like a legendary hardcore guy. Uh, cool thing about this is I really like the fact that they, they did one song where both of them did it their own style. Worldwide Hardcore Pride. They each each did a version of that, and I thought that was really cool. because And they do it kind of like right next to each other. So Demon 13 does it at the end of their set of their uh, set of songs, and at the beginning, Code 13 does it their style on there. So I thought that was kind of cool. That was a neat little, little uh, gimmick they had going, but that was pretty cool. Good good 7-inch. Both these bands are really, really good. Uh, next up, we'll do Face Down. This is... A very early project of members of Tragedy and Heroes Gone, stuff like that. Uh, this was Billy from Death Threat and Tragedy, and uh, Paul Bardet from Tragedy and Criminal Damage, and a bunch of other bands too. They're in a bunch of bands. They've been in a bunch of different bands, but this was early stuff, and I think it's cool to see the earlier stuff and listen to like where what they started out with and what they became it's it's fun stuff uh i believe this came out in like the 90s late 90s not sure but it's really good stuff it's interesting to see uh next up is a classic philadelphia band from late 90s early 2000s kill the man in questions and a solo split. Uh, Kill the Man, I used to see them when I was in high school and a little after, and I got to know a lot of the guys in that band, and they were really, really cool people. Uh, the, the one singer, Nikki, became a good friend of mine, and this is, this is just a really good, good, like, kind of emotional, hardcore, but really fast and abrasive too. It's really fun stuff. If you get a chance and you've never heard of Kill the Man, you should check them out. DeCello, I don't know that much about them. I've only heard this by them. And it's good. I'm going to probably check out some more of them if I, if I see them around for cheap. I'll probably pick it up. Uh, next up, last video we did, I showed you guys Annihilation Time. Well, picked up a couple LPs by Lecherous Gaze. This is their uh, Born on a River. EP. Uh, this is Lecherous Gaze 
on the Skids LP. Uh, this is members of Annihilation Time after they left Annihilation Time. And I don't think it's as good as Annihilation Time, but it's really good, like filthy, fast rock and roll. A little bit of uh, stoner rock mixed in there. Uh, good, good, like, beer drinking, hanging out music. Fast, a little abrasive. Uh, some people might not dig the, the vocals. They're a little funky. They're a little, like, uh, I don't know. Like, uh, a little more, like, but they're, they're pretty good. It's still a good, good records. Uh, I'm, I'm going on a kick with those guys. I'll probably have another little tip. I might have another one of those coming up on my next uh, find video because right now I'm just I'm on kind of a mission to pick up a bunch of this gay stuff. I got another one but it's got kind of a x-rated cover thing on there so I just didn't show it. But Lecherous Gaze, good stuff. Uh, next up, one of my favorites from the last couple years. Magic Circle. This is a popular one. Uh, this band really blew up with this album, and they're really good, like, heavy, epic, kind of doom, little doom, pinch of doom in there, but they're like really like throwback rock and roll stuff, in my opinion, really good vocals, great guitar work, just really solid songwriting, and I really like this album. This was one of my favorites the year it came out, I think it came out in 2019? Yeah, 2019, I think this came out, and this was this was up there. This made it to my my top ten list for that year, and I'm really glad to pick this up finally. I took my sweet time. I'll tell you that much. Should have grabbed it as soon as it came out. Uh, another one on the same label. They're, they're both on. This is on Twenty Bucks Spin. Great metal label. If you don't know it, really, really good stuff. Next up is uh, there's a little. on my turntable. Uh, but this is Obsequie. They are a medieval sounding uh, black metal band. Blackish metal band. I wouldn't say totally black metal, but they're really uh, on the medieval side. They have harp in there, some cool instrumentation, a little folky at times, uh, but really good songwriting and I like all of this band's albums. I just bought this because 20 Bucks Spin just re-released it, and I've been waiting. I've just been sitting around waiting, checking their website once in a while just to see if they if they uh, repressed this, and they finally did, so I picked it up. Uh, another one. This is another. This is a double LP. Uh, this is another one. Some fake Japanese blackened thrash metal stuff. Uh, it's got an obi on it. Uh, Syphiletic Vaginas. They're a, I think, you guys will correct me in the comments, I think he's Swedish or something like that. Uh, Swedish or Finnish or something. And he does really like raw, a little bit of DB, thrashy black metal. And this stuff's really good. This is a collection, and I bought it because it was way cheaper than buying all the individual stuff. And really happy to have this in my collection. I've been I've liked these guys for a while. A friend of mine gave me a mixtape a long time ago that had these guys on it, and I've always liked them and been meaning to pick stuff up. And they finally had this on Nuclear War Now, and I was I had to do it. Had to pick it up. Good stuff. Japanese style, thrashy black metal, syphilitic vaginas. Uh, okay, so now, next up, now we're going to get into the punk stuff. Here's one of my favorite albums from last year, and this album is awesome. Uh, really cool anarcho style with little bit of post-punk in there, uh, 
a really cool band. I feel the 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 whole theme of this album is anti-colonialism, basically, and it's a really good album. Catchy songs, great great songwriting, really cool musicianship, like cool choices made on this album. Uh, Straw Man Army, Age of Exile, very good record. If you find this and you like punk rock stuff, like even any kind of punk stuff, you'll probably really like this. This was really good. It got really good reviews and really got a really got a big buzz around it. And I checked it out and it was really, really good. I've listened to it three or four times since I got it because I just keep putting it on my turntable because I keep wanting to listen to it again. Uh, next up, more uh, punk, punk rock, post-punky stuff. Wire, this is a classic album. Uh, been meaning to pick this up for a while. They hadn't repressed any in a long time. I think they just started repressing them again. And I'm seeing a lot of these Wire represses around. Probably going to pick up more of them. But Wire is great, great, old, post-punk band. This is more along the lines of like old punk with just a hint of post-punk. They go really into more electronic and organ-based stuff. But all of it's really good. This is one. This is one of my favorite albums of all time, and I'm glad that I picked this up finally. Next up, another another heavy hitter. This is another popular one. Uh, I've got their other two albums, and I've been looking for this one. And one popped up at the right price, and I just happened to have the money for it while it was when it popped up. It wasn't too expensive. It was like you know, like thirty bucks or something. It wasn't terribly expensive, but that's expensive for me. I don't. I don't usually pay a lot for records. I'll, I'll try and find deals, but this one I just went with because I love this band. This is another project of uh, Paul Burdett from Tragedy, His Hero's Gone, you know, all that stuff. And just really good, catchy, oi punk that's really aggressive and just really fun to listen to. And listen to this a couple times too because I just. It, keeps just finding my its way to my turntable because it's just so good. Love this band. Criminal Damage. Self-titled LP. Great stuff. Got two more for you. If you're still hanging around. I'm trying to keep these short. But uh next up Career Suicide, Machine Response. And I remember I was excited for this to come out when it came out in 2016, and I was pretty broke, so I just never picked it up. Uh, it's been on my back burner for a long time, but I went to my local record shop, and they had this for a good price, and I was just like, you know what, I'm finally just going to pick this up. Career Suicide's a good, thrashy, hardcore band. Uh, a little snotty, thrashy, hardcore, really fun stuff. Did see these guys live a long time ago, and they were awesome. But uh, really fun record. Check Career Suicide out if you haven't seen them before. Really good stuff. Next up, one more by DS13. Uh, this is one I had a long time ago, and they. I at one point I guess I sold it traded it to somebody, and lately I've been on, been itching to get this one back, and they had it at my local shop for pretty cheap, and I just went, okay, I guess I'm picking that record up finally. This one's on clear vinyl. I'll show the vinyl colors. The other one was on like a green, the other uh, Obsequay album was on like a green splatter, but it's on my turntable right now, and I didn't want to get up and get it, but uh, this one's on super clear. Clear vinyl, which is pretty cool. You can see right through it. But this has a bunch of different color variants, and that's just the one that was at the shop that was cheap. Uh, and I think that's it. That's all the vinyl finds that we found this week. Uh, hit me up if you like the video. Uh, let me know in the comments if I got anything wrong, or uh, 
if you like the video, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, one more thing before I go. I'm going to do a couple more series, I think. I think I'm going to do a series of my, like, I'll, I'm going to do a series tomorrow of things that I'm, of my Friday beer drinking music, and I think I'm going to do a cheap heat section. So let me know in the comments what you'd like to see on the cheap heat. I think I'm going to do at least a punk and hardcore, 